One, two, six, three. All right, came out here into this jug and stopped in here. It looks like it just cracked the back side though. You can reload that. <laughs> right? Send it back to Alright, so let's take a look at the track here. So, a lot of people misinterpret gel and gelatin test results. You see all of this disruption here that looks super impressive. It looks like, oh wow, look how much cool stuff it did. Except gelatin isn't nearly as elastic as real tissue is, with the exception of brain and liver tissue, most soft tissues, organs, muscle, fat, can expand a great deal and then collapse back in with very little injury. Gelatin can't stretch as much, so it, it cracks and tears around where the stretch cavity was, and you'll see that on the high speed. But this here doesn't represent a wider wound than normal. The actual wound diameter is about the same size as the projectile, which is going to be about like this. To get a larger wound with a pistol velocity, you need an expanding bullet. Thanks for watching. fair amount of back face deformation but I don't think it's all that much I don't think it's anywhere near the limit the limit is per NIJ standards is 44 millimeters which is 2.7 inches and this is about 1.8 inches if you're really really generous it's still under two so not only did it stop the projectile the back face deformation meets NIJ standards Yeah, I don't want to pull this out just yet because it did crack. See if I can see if I can push it out. happened here. You can see how it started to crack around there. It looks like all those pieces got kind of bound up and bound up and twisted up in these fibers. There we go. That's interesting stuff. So it's all cracked there but still holding together. Huh. Pretty cool.